So three years ago, I made a video titled Seven Illegal Ways to Make Fast Money. And I said, do not try it. That was three years ago. 1.6 million people actually watched that video. And by the end of this video, you know exactly how much money that video actually made me legally. I'll tell you. I'll reveal it, just watch all the way to the end of this video. Now, today is kind of like the anniversary of this video, so I'm gonna give you seven more illegal ways to make money fast on the internet and also just like in real life. Now, just like I said in my last video, which was like three years ago, this is not GTA, this is actually real life. The reason I'm telling you this stuff is not for educational purposes, so you can go out there and do it and try it and see what happens, no, it's so you actually know what people are actually doing and you stay away from it whenever somebody shady comes to you with a very stupid, illegal idea. I guess it is for education purposes because this way you know for a fact not to do those things in the first place. So yeah, these are seven illegal ways to make fast money. People do it, but the consequences are very real and in my opinion, they're absolutely not worth it, okay? Now, as always guys, like this video on top of also subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified because guess what? I have a lot of other ways to make money legally, like stocks, real estate, and a lot more on this channel. But number one, guys, is going to be starting up a Ponzi scheme. You might think, Tommy, that's so hard, it's almost impossible, no one can do it. Yeah, it's not as hard as you think it actually is. Here in Dominican Republic, which is basically like almost a third world country, people say that, well, this guy, his name was called basically Butter. I'm not kidding, they called him butter. In Spanish, it's like mantequilla, but it's like butter. And this guy had a whole Ponzi scheme going on, okay? The scheme was this. You would come to him and you would give him any amount of money and in a few days, he would call you back and double your money and give it back to you. You might say, Tommy, that sounds unrealistic, stupid. Who would do that? The answer was a lot of people actually did it. And you might say, well, where did he get the money from? Well, it's not that hard to actually see how it works, okay? If 10 people come to him and 10 folks bring him, for example, $100, well, that's $1,000. Now, if he doubles the money for each individual at different time rates, he's able to use their own money to double it. And by the time he runs out of money, well, more people come in and actually give him more money to keep doing the scheme. But for what purpose, if all he does is basically double and double and double, isn't he going to run out of money at a certain point? The answer is yes, okay? The people that first started, they win. But the people at the very end, they lose. And the goal of the scammer is very simple. They want to catch a big whale. There's going to be a person at a certain point that's going to come with a lot of money to double it. And when that happens, well, the money's gone. It's lost forever. And the guy usually disappears. Now, what happened to Butter? The answer is Butter actually went to jail and some of his family members were actually, you know, taken care of. You know what I mean? Like they're not here anymore. So again, I tell you this so you know what these things look like. If someone's telling you, you give me this much, I give you that much, bring me more people, might smell like a Ponzi scheme if you ask me. And these things are illegal and they do land you in jail. Now, number two guys is actually going to be selling medicine, you know, medicine, D-R, you, you know, I don't gotta spell it, right? But for the most part, it's selling medicine. You may think, Tommy, of course it's illegal. Of course it'll land you in jail. Who would do such a stupid thing? The answer is, well, it's not who would do it because we know who'd do it, but I actually knew someone back in the day and he actually had a full-blown business where he actually did his marketing on Snapchat. It's legit, trust me. He actually made brownies with an extra ingredient to give it a little bit more spice and he posted it on Snapchat all the time to get his customers and he would even post specials and say when he sold out. And the answer is guys, sometimes you're doing something and you think you're like a small fry and you think no one's watching you, but at a certain point, when you do get caught, those are still crimes and you do still get caught with criminal charges. Now, how did this person actually end up? The answer was, he was in an Uber once, the competition was following him, took him out of the Uber, and they made him his face look like a cherry that was basically popped. Imagine that, for example. He's still here, 
and he tried to sue Uber because they should have never like let him get him out the car or whatever, but he didn't win obviously. But for the most part guys, I'm telling you guys real stories. I promise you, I'm not making this up, okay? The consequences are gonna be, for example, either with the jail people or with the street people. And either or, they're not good, all right? Now, number three, guys, is going to be selling online courses and fake products overall. Now, I don't know about you guys, okay, but there was a time here on YouTube where I would see a lot of fake ads, okay? Like, real ads, but what they're actually selling was actually fake. People said, hey, sign up for my course and buy this and buy that. People signed up, paid a dollar, sometimes $200, $300, $500 to get to talk to these people. And then all of a sudden, the websites would basically disappear or the products were just trash, okay? So the idea is, yeah, you could technically, here's the whole program how to actually do it, guys, okay? They go ahead and they build this whole fake program or just trash program. And they do, for example, a lot of marketing using persuasion techniques, okay? And when people actually sign up, they might offer, for example, like refunds and so on, but then guess what? You try to refund, doesn't work. It's gone, disappear. Website is basically down and disappear with the money. But by the way, even these people, when they actually get caught, they do still face criminal charges. But you wanna look out for this because usually you're the one being scammed. And if you build something like this, you gotta be very careful because if you get caught, it's not going to be pretty. Now, number four is going to be promoting garbage on the internet. Now, you may say, Tommy, what do you mean promoting garbage? Well, let's say, for example, you end up being someone of influence, okay? Let's say, for example, you know, three years ago, I had like maybe like what, like maybe like 50K subscribers, now I have like 500K. Let's say I made a video right now saying, hey guys, sign up for this program or sign up for this Bitcoin thing and just basically get this cryptocurrency stuff and you buy it and this and that, okay? I'm getting paid by a company to say all these things, right? You don't know that. And then when this stuff actually blows up, guess what? I can be held responsible also and I could go to jail. If I don't say, for example, hey, this is an ad. And even then, okay, I can still face legal ramifications for doing that. And I saw that happen, I think it was in 2020 or 2021, where people that are actually boxers and people that were famous for showing their bodies on the internet and reality shows, I don't wanna say names because, you know, I don't wanna get in trouble either. But for the most part, these people were actually sued by doing all this whole cryptocurrency promotion and so on. So be very careful when it comes to promoting garbage, because you might think, well, I'm associating myself with garbage, but I'm not the one doing the garbage, but no, you're still in association with the garbage, so you might still face consequences. Now, number six is going to be selling unlicensed goods on the internet. You might say, Tommy, how does that work? What do you mean unlicensed goods? You mean fake goods? The answer is no. Let's say I have a book right here. It's a pretty good book right here. It's by, um. What's this guy's name? I forgot his name. His name is Anthony O'Neill. Right here is the debt-free degree. It's a great way on how to go out there and get a college degree without actually getting into debt. It's an awesome book. I recommend it. But if I had, for example, the PDF version of this book, and it's mine, I have the download, right? I could go on eBay. I could go on Reddit. I could go online and resell that PDF like crazy. Now, obviously, I'm an unlicensed seller. I'm not the owner. I'm making money directly from a product I did not write and I have no association with whatsoever. That's not good. That's actually illegal, okay? Now, where do these people actually do this? The answer is they do it on eBay. They sell PDFs on eBay. And not just that, they also sell accounts on eBay. You're probably asking, Tommy, how does that work? How do you sell accounts on eBay? Well, picture this, for example, okay? Let's say I actually wanna sell Netflix accounts on eBay. What happens is these people, they say, hey, we have 50 available. You know, it's like five spots to like seven spots for eBay account. They grab all the money they get from those people. They open up an eBay account or I mean a Netflix account and they send those people like the same email and password. They say, don't change it. Now everyone is basically sharing the same account, but once the month is over, they're obviously not going to continue paying. They usually just skip ahead and take all the money for themselves. They sold 40 for 10 bucks each, and it says a one-year membership. Well, 10 times 40, that's going to be $400, and they get you for one month, right? And then, boom, they get to keep the rest of the money. And sometimes, guess what? They usually just start a trial and get all the money anyways, okay? So that's the idea. So selling things that you don't own on the internet 
without people knowing it's illegal and you should not be doing it and it's actually unlicensed. Now, number five, which I missed, so I'm having to go back, okay, is going to be credit card fraud. You might say, Tommy, how does credit card fraud actually work and what do you mean here? Well, it's not that complicated whatsoever and there are even tutorials and songs that are on the internet that tell you step by step how to do credit card fraud. That's pretty crazy, honestly. But the idea is very simple. You can go to the black web and well, dark web, whatever you wanna call it. You can actually go to the dark web and actually buy people's information, okay? Their credit card information, their social security, their addresses, and they grab that info. And with that information, they could actually make clone credit cards or just go ahead and start shopping things online. They usually don't do that unless you know what they're doing because you know, you have an address, somewhere to point them to. And I actually knew someone that actually did this and Here's what happened to him, okay? Well, he actually had a friend. So this guy I knew, and he knew another guy who was doing this stuff, and this guy told him, I can get you what you want for half the price, just tell me. And he says, well, I want this. And he went ahead and bought it, ordered it to a location, and when he actually got it, the guy was like, hey, I'm gonna call the CIA, I know your name, I know your address, the payment bounced, and that's what usually happens, okay? Because whenever you have people's information and they see a charge that did not, they didn't obviously like buy, they call the bank and they say, hey, I didn't do that. That payment gets reversed, and then the merchant sees it, and then boom, now you're in problems, okay? But when they do it physically, there's none of that stuff actually going on. So what they do is basically, they make a clone of the credit card, they go to Best Buy, they go to Walmart, they go to all these places, usually with self-checkout, you know, so they don't gotta talk to people and so on, and they buy flat screens, they buy expensive stuff, and then they sell it to people for like half off or like 25% off, and you're probably wondering, you know, they do this a lot in New York, by the way. In New York, they do it like crazy, okay? And they do a lot of the stuff, and it's credit card fraud, and it's not a joke because this type of fraud can land you in jail for 10, 20 years, and it is not a joke, okay? So you wanna avoid that, okay? Someone tells you, I know a quick way to make some quick money, man. You just gotta give me your ID, and we're gonna go in a store, shop around for some stuff, use my cards, whatever. Don't do it because it is fraud, all right? Now, by the way, they could also, for example, um, change the name on the card, and then on top of that, they have like a fake ID. They do all the stuff, okay? They, 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 they have these systems and they actually do it, and it's not as complicated as you think it is, okay? Because they really just have to make things look as good as possible, because the person isn't going to really check it that much if everything looks good, okay? Now, the last one, guys, is probably the craziest one, okay? And it's basically AI kidnaps. You might say, Tommy, what do you mean here? Is this like a real thing? Yeah, people actually kidnap people using AI and get ransom money without ever having the person in reality, okay? Now let's say I'm right here. I get a call real quick, someone telling me, hey, I have your mom, all right? And I'm like, no you don't, you don't got my mom. My mom's right over there, right? You don't have her. And, and then they're like, yeah, I got your mom. Here's, here's, I have her right now on the phone. And then I hear my mom screaming, saying my name and saying they have her. And I'm like, now I get scared. I'm like, yo, what is going on here? This guy really has my mom, okay? I thought my mom was at work, but now she's on the phone and I'm like, what's going on? I panic, right? The guy says, give me $5,000, leave it outside of your house and I'll go pick it up and then I'm gonna free your mom. If you call the police, you call any numbers, we're gonna have a problem, okay? And the crazy thing is that when I see the phone number, it's my mom's phone number. That freaks you out, right? But the answer is the way they do this is also kind of simple. They use a clone software to actually, for example, like get like the whole like like phone number ID or caller ID to symbolize as if it was actually your mom's number or the person's number. And they use, for example, your mom's social media or your son's social media account to actually generate their voice, okay? So once they have their voice, they plug it into a website with AI software and they can get that voice to sound the exact same, saying what they want that voice to actually say. People get scammed like that. So if you get a call, it's kind of nerve wracking, it's crazy, but people actually do this. So these are seven more illegal scams that people actually do and illegal ways to actually make money fast that I absolutely do not recommend you actually try. And again, I make these videos because I want you to actually know what people on the streets are actually doing to actually make money fast, illegally obviously, 
And when people actually come to you with these ideas, you know to say, hey, bro, I'm just not interested, but thanks for the offer, okay? And these ideas, guys, they might sound simple. They might even sound like sometimes they're not really hurting somebody, like credit card fraud, because it's basically insured in a way. But for the most part, these are like five years, 10 years, 20 years in prison. And the big concept is that, yeah, you can make a lot of money very quickly, very fast. Some folks don't get caught. Most folks get caught, but you're living with this whole thing over your head. And when you do get caught, everything that happened before, all your success in the past is basically erased and it's absolutely not worth it. Guys, thanks for watching. As always, um, I appreciate you guys coming along with me for the past three years. And the answer is you made it all the way to the end of the video. Here's how much that video actually made me. It made me a total of around $40,000 legally over the past three years, okay? So I'm happy that video reached that many people. Um, it actually made some money, which is actually great. But for the most part, I'm just happy that many people actually saw that video, saw those scams, those ways to make money. And a lot of folks said, I'm happy I know how to do that. So I don't actually do it. And they know how it doesn't work. And there were a lot of funny comments there. But for the most part, people know not to do stupid things because when you play stupid games, you tend to win stupid rises okay thanks for watching like subscribe hit the bell so you get notified up here is another video and over here is my face let's subscribe by the way this video is actually a legal way to make money all right peace